Okay, so the next thing on the checklist is bow angle. Bow angle is important because if you have a slanted bow, it's not really going to be able to grip the string properly to make a good sound. Okay, so this is wrong. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to slowly correct it and play it so you can see how much it makes a difference to have a straight bow, okay? So I'm going to start wrong, okay? Right? Not too good, right? So I'm going to correct the angle. And that's better, right? As soon as I started to draw the bow straight, it got better. Now, both angles of a slant, both angles of a slanted bow are bad. This way is bad too. Okay? This way is bad too. Because you're not going to be able to keep it on the string. Okay? See? That's horrible. <laughs> so, all you need to do is just make sure that you draw the bow straight. In other words, it should be parallel to the line of the bridge or parallel to this line on their fingerboard. Here's a really good guideline that you could use. There are two round cutaways on these holes here and here. Use those as a guide. If you draw the bow right above them, you can use them to check how straight you're really drawing the bow. See, if you can see one of the circles, then that's bad. You have to be able to draw the bow on top of both of them, covering them. That is the best place for the sound. Let me show you. Okay, so as long as you maintain that angle, that's another thing on the checklist that is going to help you get rid of those squeaks.